Welcome back to another how-to episode from Panasonic Pro AV. In this episode, we'll be looking at how to simply connect a PC joystick or a game controller to our free PTZ Control Center software to control Panasonic PTZ cameras. PTZ Control Center, as covered in our other videos, is a central hub for any type of control with Panasonic PTZ cameras. So let's take a look at how to simply connect a gaming controller in this scenario to a Panasonic PTZ via Panasonic PTZ Control Center. So first, I need my laptop that's connected onto the same network as my Panasonic PTZ cameras. I'm going to go onto the Panasonic Pass page, and I'm going to go onto Software Download, PTZ Control Center for Windows, and then download our latest version here. Once I've downloaded, I've then got this PTZ Control Center icon, which I can then simply open and then enter our credentials. As standard, the username and password is admin admin with capital A's, and we do encourage that if you use the software, to change this in user administration. Now I've logged in and I've already pre-designated our PTZs. We have UE4, 70, 100 and UE150. I've simply added these cameras inside PTZ Control Center by going to Camera, Add and using the Auto Search feature to quickly add in the cameras. Once they're added, we can then also use Joystick. Joystick is an option inside, which is where we can start to use our PC joystick or gaming controllers. So I take the gaming controller and I connect via micro USB or USB-C, and then Windows and PTZ Control Center will be able to recognize that it's connected. Now under joystick, you can see wireless controller, and we also have these two other options here. We have zoom control and also target device. Zoom control is mapping the controller in different ways where we could either use the triggers or we could use the actual joysticks inside the controller to change either the panning direction or the zooming direction. And then we can also use the buttons on the game's controller to trigger presets. So here I'm going to do zoom control five. I'm going to be able to use the left joystick for the controller to pan the PTZs and the right joystick to zoom. Target device is what camera we select. So following the active camera means any camera I'm selecting inside PTZ control center, that is the camera I'm going to be able to control. Or we can pre-designate specific cameras to control as well by the IP addresses. So here I'm just going to use active camera because it's the one we want to follow. Another bonus inside PTZ Control Center, talking about control options, is not just joysticks for gaming controllers, we can also use the D-pad. D-pad is also another form of being able to control the PTZs, and using the numeric keypad, we can actually change the preset numbers quite simply from here. But now, as I'm following the UN70, I have my controller connected, and I'm now panning around with the left joystick, and then I can also zoom in with the right joystick. So the control is incredibly responsive as well. If I then select a different camera like UE100, we can also see that it's really quick and easy to move. So this is what we mean by active camera. Any camera that I'm selecting, I can now simply control with the gaming controller. And finally, we have the UE4 here, and we can zoom in and pan and scan around the center. Another bonus is if I actually use the buttons on the side of the controller, we can already see that the presets are pre-designated inside the PTZ camera as they're stored, and then we're just recalling by hitting any button on here. So it's that quick, and then we can move the position of the camera. So it's an incredibly beneficial tool as well, because I could be in any type of location, and I might not have access to, say, our RP60 or RP150 controllers, but I could use readily available hardware and start using that in the field for live production. That's a quick overview of how to connect a gaming controller or a PC joystick to PC Control Center. Thank you very much for watching. Panasonic Business.